You know what time it is! It's unboxing time! Hi, I'm Obi from Obi Audio and I haven't seen you in a while. Huh? We haven't done this, this segment of Obi Audio in a while and today, well, as you can see, we're going to be unboxing something. What are we going to be unboxing? Let's both anticipate together, although you can probably see it in the title already. But let's open it up. As you can see, this is indeed a Hibby product. I wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. Do you have a guess? Do you have a, a, a do you have an idea of what this might be? Well, well, let's see what it is. <gasps> it's upside down, but when we flip it over the top, that's right. This is their brand new Hebby R4. This is a first in their lineup. Uh, fun fact: This is a first of their product lineup of the R4 series, and as you can see. This is nothing like their previous products, and I'm going to tell you more about it as we go through with the unboxing. But before we start, let's talk about its specifications. So this has a 4-way ES9018C2M DAC array, which is honestly something I've never heard of before in a DAC. I haven't heard of the C2M version of the 9018. It is also running the Qualcomm 665, you know, the usual Snapdragon 665 everyone has been using in, in their DAX and stuff, so nothing too surprising there. 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of built-in internal storage, Hippie OS system-wide bit perfect audio that's interesting we, we're definitely going to be looking at that a 4.7 inch high res display and class a amplification so let's take a look at the uh further uh inclusions of uh, this bot right here so first let's get rid of the uh plastic outer lining as you can see i'm using a nice little um cutter now unlike before where i was using my crappy old uh, scissors, actually no, those are crappy, those are amazing, those, that, honestly those scissors are great, I don't know why y'all don't like it, it's the same color as this, so, like, yeah, don't give them the hate. But anyways, uh, look at that, very nice, very interesting design, this is something that we haven't seen from Hebi before yet, they've been always been the mature style of designs, but as you can see here, they're going for a cyborg future retro type of, type of design. And number four, as you can see, because R4, hippie.com, there it is, very beautiful. Let's look at the side, hippie underscore R4. I love this futuristic design that they're trying to do. It's very unique. Again, it's something that we haven't seen before, and I appreciate them trying something different. So as you can see here, the R4 music player orange, because I chose the orange version, obviously. Orange is an amazing color. I know there's a green color, but it's like lime green. I'm not really too a fan of that. I love this orange neon orange or something just some uh, contact details and stuff just the usual so now let's let's get it open let's open it up so it's telling me to open from here do i do i pull it there what's the what's the protocol here what do i do so like, do i like do i do this it's like it doesn't make sense you open it open it <gasps> there you go so let's slide it up very 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 satisfying right there number four let's put this to the side Number four, as you can see, it's the usual box. So let's open it up and slowly. That is cool. Okay, so in pictures, I usually, you know, like have a general idea of how something would look, right? Uh, there are some exceptions. This is a massive exception. This looks so cool in real life compared to the photos. It looked cool in the photos, but this look looks even cooler here. So. Let's gently remove it, and wow, okay, okay, that, that, that is surprisingly, it's thick, but it's surprisingly light, wow, oh, uh, okay, um, that is, that is awesome, so we'll take more look at the design here later, but let's put this on the side, let's see what else is, oh, oh let's put it on the, on the nice side so that you guys can see, a really cool design right there, that's so, that's such a cool design. I know some people don't really like that that kind of stylings, but honestly, I I don't mind it. I actually really like that. It's really futuristic uh, looking, and they really went into the. Oh, it comes with a. It comes with a case. Oh my gosh. Um, let's put the plastic to the side right here. It comes with its own case, and it's like the um, the R6 case. It's like a silicone case, very dark. 
Uh, we're going to see how it looks like later, but it looks like it's really covering up all of the things. I wonder if that has a screen. We'll see very much. Uh, we'll see very, very soon. So anyways, very nice. It comes with a uh, basic silicone case right here. Let's put that to the side. Let's put all of these here on the side as well. Uh, what else does it come with? I think these are just some paperwork and instruction manuals. Oh, and uh, extra screen protector. Extra tempered glass, actually. That's not just any screen protector. It's tempered glass. So, appreciate that as always. Hebby for uh, applying that. So, you have your warranty card. The usual. Nothing too special. And this looks like a very unique... Oh, my goodness. It's, it is. A, it's a roadmap style. No, it's not. Oh, it's just a... Normal style. So this is just the instructional manual so that we know how to um, what do you call this? How to make this function. So we have here the front right there, uh, the thank you thing right there, and then you have the buttons and pods. You got the charm hole. <laughs> I love it. They're really they're really leaning into that ever since the um, KB Digital M300. You got the multifunction button. Yes. This includes another function button. I wonder what it does for this one because the M300 had a few uses. But I'm curious what it's going to do for this one. So we'll see very soon. So we got the usual power screen lock, previous or fast forward, play, pause, and next or rewind. So we have here the DAC or the, the chip. Oh, sorry, the chip. Sorry, the Type-C port with the USB DAC in or out and the digital SPDIF. And then you have here the balanced 4.4 millimeter headphone jack and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as you can see on the side micro sd card volume plus volume down it's very thorough i like it they're describing all that you're going to be seeing with this so you have here um just some of the stuff power on off operating system android 12 very nice android 12 appreciate it it's you said it's like heavy os but i guess that's just like for the music playing whatever so it's like the built in like what they do with the, the other dapps so android 12 very nice it comes in hibby music professional edition the best edition of hibby music so appreciate that a multi-function button uh, uh key settings make adjustments so yeah awesome micro sd card support up to two terabytes and they're hot swappable as it should so um you got the 3.5 millimeter jack sita standard remote control supports pause play song so it has inline controls very nice and spdif output hibby r4 uses type c related cables so spdif i don't really have that right now but that's fine and then you have oh it's running mqa it still has mqa that's fine i guess whatever it's probably like something a relic of the past now so you got the, the led rgb indicating what it what those means just take a look at that uh, coaxial digital output yes very nice it's for the type c um rca connect so that's going to be for that usb digital output so you can use it for like dax and stuff file transfer um uh, acting as a usb dac yes this can be used as a usb dac indeed but it seems like you're going to be needing uh, a driver for it to to work properly so yeah you can use this as an external dac like the r3 and the r6 awesome wireless connectivity bluetooth 5.2 or for new bluetooth audio so that's nice pull down notification say blah 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 pair new device okay it's running uh 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz wi-fi very nice um besides using it for uh, music and streaming it can be used for music transfer thanks to hibby's own dlna as usual and then some software updates instructions digital transport audio architecture uh this is the hibby full-time bit perfect Android audio framework um, as it uh, bypasses Android sample rate. Awesome. I really like that. I really like that. Uh, my kind of gripe with the M300 is it didn't bypass um, audio. I had like all of the cool stuff, but then it didn't bypass. This bypasses awesome. Really good. Um, PD 2.0 charging protocol. As it should. Fast charging. This is running. I forgot how, mu how much uh, battery this has. We'll see very soon in the spec sheet. So, uh, to factory reset and then recovery mode and then in-depth instructions yeah we'll scan that later uh fcc warning just some rules and stuff like that and that's your quick start guide yes so uh, we found out that this does indeed have features that weren't listed in the listings right now since you know it's still pre-release but yeah it can be used as a digital transport it can be used as a external deck it can even be used for spdif and rca 
out or digital analog out or sorry not digital analog but you know what i mean so let's put this back here i believe that should be all i think this comes with a cable as well all right should should at least usually always does yep that looks like a cable it feels like a cable and it is indeed a cable just the usual one that comes with your a usual heavy products so let's put all of these away now let's put the, uh, these all to the side just so that we can have a clean like setup for the installation and the setup for the Hebe R4. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's, that's stuck right there. Okay. All right. Um, give me a moment. Yep, there you go. Put it here. And then the cables right here. We don't need that right now. We can use that later. Always nice to have type C cables right there. Oh, why, did, why is it up? Oh, because of the deck is supposed to be here. So let's just put that to the side. And let's put this right here. I love the orange that they used here. It's just so vibrant, so energetic. So anyways, let's put this to the side. And let's look at the deck it's, or the DAP itself. So we can see the back. It is uh, like a metal frame built the entire way, by the way. Like nothing feels plastic in the frame. It's just pure rugged metal, similar to the frame of the... Uh, Hibby M300. So, um, yeah, that's the Hibby Muse or Hibby R4 underscore. I love it. This one is, it feels, it genuinely feels like the kind of uh, device that you would find in like futuristic movies. Like it, it just feels that way, you know? So, you have here just some warning signs and the QR code. As you can see, high, re high resolution, music player model, dongle on, yeah, 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 blah, 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 DSD. Awesome. Didn't mention what kind of DSD or decoding, but whatever. High res audio and high res audio wireless. So let's take a look deeper into the little stuff and crannies. So first screen, 4.7 inches. Uh, looks like it has thick chins and bezels, but that's fine. It's a DAP. You don't really need uh, that big of a thing. And then you have here the aforementioned function button. And if I'm assuming, yep, it works just like the Hibby M300. So you flip it. That's the function thingy and stuff. And obviously, we, 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 we have to talk about the charm. <laughs> we have to talk about the lanyard charm right here. Or oh, sorry, not necessarily a lanyard, but it's it's what you would use to put on the charm. And it's awesome. I love it. It's not really for everyone. Again, I've said earlier, the design of this is not for everyone. But I love that. That looks really cool. And that honestly feels functional. But, you know, as I said, it's down here. So, like, you're dangling and stuff like that. But if you're not, like, using it or anything... You don't want to put it in your pocket, so you don't want to scratch it, which is very common for me. Just put it on your ID or something like that. But anyways, that's for the screen right there. On the sides, as you can see, the a very nice orange motif there going on with the power button. Pause, sorry, pause forward or back or like I'm assuming yeah, this should be forward, this should be back. So very, very nice. The buttons feel all right. Not necessarily like the clickiest and the most... Um, satisfying one but that's okay um on the left side you can see the volume up and the volume down same feeling and the sd card we're gonna put something in there very soon so that's the back as you can see we've been looking at this earlier i love it so much i hope there's something here i genuinely hope that there's something here so that's the design right there high blah 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 blah, blah. and then look at the bottom uh type c on the left side balance on the vo mare vo most right and the 3.5 millimeter uh, right beside it so the usual position so now let's get rid of the uh what do you call this the the peel first just to get rid of the i think that's the first level screen protector i hope so but yeah that's probably like the first level of screen protector so let's put that on the side right there that's correct and there you go let's open it up and see if it's battery yeah of course it should have a battery and yep so let's wait for it to boot up let's just admire how beautiful this things look this thing looks it looks so nice i love it i love it so much it's so nice let's go back because it's still not up yet oh what's that oh that's the led the led is positioned up there instead of like usually on the on the sides and stuff so that's usually the usual um heavy like setuping 
So let's, let's set up to English, United States. Time shall be plus eight. So where is plus eight? Which is going to be... Uh, let's, let's just do it like... Let's do Taipei. Taipei is literally above us anyways. Oh, and they get to pick us the design. Cool, cool. Okay, let's let's turn off the the light in front of me first just so that you guys can see the oops, sorry how do you turn this off there you go so you can see the, the the screen a little bit better so since we have the orange we will pick the orange one and let's finish it and i'm anticipating i'm anticipating come on come on yeah there you go oh my goodness okay this is probably like the third time i said this but i know this isn't for everyone but that's cool that's actually really cool i love how they really dug into the feel or the vibes of this like cyber retro uh whatever um kind of like what do you call this kind of design philosophy not only in the outside but also in the internals so I'm not going to do a full setup right now. I mean, it's going to be a different video. This is just the unboxing and like the, like, I guess, look at all of the individual parts. So let's just take a look first at the specifications so that we can be sure. Actually, let's see if there is anything. And it seems like, yeah, it lights up. I mean, I hope there was something more useful there, but like it lights up. <laughs> pretty cool wait i want to see if i turn it off it's going to turn off as well yep so that's how you know if it's on or off there's like a very light shade there i wish that there was something bit more with this but i mean beggars can be choosers maybe it's going to be in the future we'll see so let's oh, let's turn it back on and let's open the device and you can see here heavy r4 snapdragon 665 es 9018 2cm times four so there's like four DAC chips in here that's crazy uh three gigabytes of internal storage sorry internal storage three gigabytes of ram 32 gigs internal storage 100 uh, sorry 720p screen and 4500 milliampere of internal storage so there you go that's uh that's the hebby r4 for you very interesting design very unique I've never seen anything like this before and I hope they really push through with this. It's very interesting. It's very unique. Uh, it's not for everyone. I'm going to say that again. It's not for everyone, but I love it. I love this design so much. It looks so unique. You, you look at other dApps in the market, even Hibby's own dApps, bro. Like this is completely unique to anything that's been out in the market and the like, it, I, don't, I don't know. It's, 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 it's just interesting. So I really hope they push through with this, or at least I, I hope they make more with this. I hope they make the screen, or make an adapt with the screen that's actually usable in the back. But, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing of the Hebby R4. I'm going to be doing a setup for the R4 very soon, so stay tuned. So, that's the Hebby R4 for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, consider liking. If you like my content, subscribe down below. And... Definitely consider checking out my socials, join the Discord, check out Audio Notions, join Forsaken Audio Files on Facebook, just search it out, Forsaken Audio Files, we're gonna bring you in. And with that, OB Audio.